So we left off talking about the different ways you can combine Boolean values together. Uh, and in this case, we have two Boolean values, each of which has either 0 or 1 as its value, these variables. Uh, and we can combine them using um, some sort of an operation. In this example, we used an AND as an operation. An AND combines these two in such a way that it's 1 only when all the inputs are 1. That's one possible arrangement, one possible operation we can do on these things. OR is another arrangement. This is OR. A OR B we're going to use. Uh, let's make it a bit clearer what we're doing here. So that vertical bar means OR. Uh, and in this case, A OR B, this is going to be 1 when any of the inputs is 1. So in this case, none of the inputs are 1, right? A and B are both 0. In this case, oh, sorry, that's wrong. Because, because none of the inputs are, are 1, the output is 0. In this case, the output is 1, A or B together is 1, if either or both is 1. So this is OR. This is another of the possible um, operations we can do on Boolean variables. So we've got AND, we've got OR. Uh, NOT is of an operation on only one variable. So we have A. Then not A looks like that, and it is just the opposite. If A is 0, not A is 1. If A is 1, then not A is 0. So those are three common operations on uh, Boolean variables. Uh, it's worth noting that it AND and OR are both um, dual operations, which means they have two uh, inputs, two variables that they're operating on, and NOT is a unary operation, meaning it only has one variable that it operates on. It only operates on a single value. Okay? So an interesting question that, we've, that we sometimes will ask once we start to get into AND and OR and NOT, and by the way, the other way of looking at these things is AND, OR, and NOT, uh, is if we have these two possibilities for um, two variable operators, what other two variable operators might there be? Well, in the in the world of traditional algebra, there's sort of as many as you want because any variable can take any value. But because in Boolean algebra, a variable can only take one of two values, we're actually limited in the number of two variable operations that we can do. We can't just make up new ones. There are only a finite number. What is that finite number? How many are there? What do they look like? Well, if we think about the different possibilities for two variables, we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. That's four possibilities. And that means uh, that there are as many operations as there are different ways to have outputs for these four possibilities. Well, let's make up a few. We have uh, AND and OR and NOT already. So AND is 0, 0, 0, 1. OR is 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, NOT is, doesn't factor in here because it's a unary operator. Uh, but for any of these dual uh, two variable operators, what are some other things we can put in here? Uh, well, any combination of ones and zeros is a valid function of these two variables. So, um, here's another one, zero, 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 zero. It's not very interesting, but it is a valid operation, and it corresponds to what we call f of a, b equals zero. Okay, this is a function of two variables, and the output is always zero. That's not interesting, but it is a valid function. So if that's a valid function, and this is a valid function, and this is a valid function, how many valid functions are there? Well, um, there's as many valid functions as there are combinations of zeros and ones in four lines, because we have four possible inputs, and we have four possible, four different outputs, depending on what the values of the inputs are. So if we have four possibilities, and each of those possibilities can be a 0 or a 1. How many possibilities are there? Well, if we have two possibilities for the first one, two possibilities for the second one, two possibilities for the third one, and two possibilities for the fourth one, this is, in fact, 2 to the power of 4, or 16. There are only 16 functions of two variables in binary logic. Uh, this is a fact that will often blow people's minds. But, what are they? Well, many of them, like I say, many of them are boring. So let's start over here and see if we can enumerate them all. A, B, 
be, here are our inputs 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. What are all of the possibilities? Well, we can just start enumerating them. <clears throat> 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1, 1. Those are the 16 possibilities. I'll come over here. These are the 16 possible functions. Many of them are not that interesting. <clears throat> right? This one here is just f of x or f of a, b equals 1. Always true. This is f of a, b equals 0. Always false. Uh, some of these we've already seen. This one here, whereas uh, this one here is and. This one here uh, is or. And there's a whole bunch of other ones. And as we go through this series of videos, we'll see what some of these other variables, uh, some of these other functions are for. Uh, but it's worth noting that these are the only possible ways that you can combine two variables in binary math. Uh, the next video, we'll look at a few of these other functions and uh, what they are commonly used for and which ones are more common than others.